Well, let's pick up right where we left off in the last video. We already configured the eBGP relationship between router 3 and router 2. Now we're going to configure the iBGP relationship between router 1 and router 2. So let me call out my Terraterm prompt here. We're already on router 2 and we'll get into config T. We'll go back into the routing process. BGP 518. Same commands that we used in the previous one when we configured the eBGP. This time we'll use the neighbor uh, 518.0.1 remote AS it will be 518 this will identify within router 2 that its neighbor 5.18.0.1 is an IBGP neighbor we will also enter um, neighbor 5.18.0.1 we will issue the command next hop self that any routing updates will come from its neighbor in this case router 2 we will also add no synchronization there okay let me exit out of there do a write mem and we'll save that then we'll hop over to router 1 and do the same thing go into config t router bgp 518 neighbor what is it 5.18.0.2 remote as 518 okay exit out of there and we hopefully will see a new relationship that forms between the two we'll do a show ip bgp sum we can see that the uh, state is idle. Hit the up arrow again. It's still idle. Hit the up arrow again. Now it's turning to active. Of course, like I said before, BGP takes a little time for it to uh, to uh, con to converge. And as I spoke, uh, the neighbor 5.18.0.2 popped up. So let's hit the up arrow again and see that it's actually receiving a route and it's receiving four prefixes from its neighbor 5.18.0.2 and hopefully these are the ones that we have seen in router 2 so we'll do a show IP BGP uh, that's it and yes we do see the routes that we are getting from our neighbor router 2 all the 20 dot, uh, the 20 route 20 network as identified here in loopback 4 at uh, the 30.10.10.0 network at uh, the 140.12 and the 192.198.12 you can see that the, uh, the prefixes also have the uh, the um, the asterisk and the greater than symbol but notice that you also have this i in front of it telling us designating us that has been learned internal to us Therefore, for my internal neighbor of 5.18.0.2. And being that is the best and valid routes, this should also appear in our routing table. Oops. Huh. I said routing instead of route. And yes, these are located in our routing table. So in this video tutorial, we have configured IBGP that exists between router 1 and router 2 within Autonomous System 518. And we also establish an eBGP relationship between two autonomous systems, 518 and 1211. I hope this basic BGP setup provided you some oversight, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.